Hello, everyone. My name is Shaked, and I'm from the product marketing team here at Wiz. And today we're going to talk about compliance in the cloud. Let's start off by talking about what are some of the things that the cloud changed when it comes to compliance. So first of all, in the cloud, we have a new type of environment. So now many organizations are running a multi-cloud environment where they have different types of architectures, whether it's servers, containers, or serverless functions. Um, and this type of environment can grow and shrink very quickly as they can scale their resources at the click of a button. So this creates a very complex environment that makes it a lot more challenging to manage compliance. And what are some of the reasons? So with this new complex environment, it's challenging for organizations to gain visibility into every single resource in their environment. And obviously without visibility and without knowing every single resource running in my environment, it's hard for me to ensure that those resources are compliant if I don't know that they're even running in my environment. So first questions organizations ask, ask themselves is, how do I gain visibility and ensure compliance in a dynamic environment? The next change that the cloud has introduced is also new types of risks that security teams and compliance teams now need to take into consideration. So in the cloud now, we're not just looking at vulnerabilities, but we also have to think of things like cloud resources, misconfigurations, um, network exposures of my resources, what are the permissions of the different users and identities in my environment, what resources can they access, where does my sensitive data lie, and so on. So in order to understand what is a critical risk in the cloud, we really need to understand those risks across the board and also understand how those risks correlate to each other. So organizations ask themselves, how do I understand complex risk? And then how do I align my cloud policies and those rules that I'm checking for those risks with the changing regulations that I have to follow? The third challenge there is that it can be challenging to operationalize in the cloud. So um, I have different clouds that I might be running it, different services and different teams that are building in the cloud. How do I ensure that I have consistent compliance assessment across all my clouds? And what do I need to do in order to improve my compliance posture in order to be compliant? So if we take a look at the numbers of API calls that um, AWS has introduced, we can see that it grows constantly and very fast because there's constantly more and more new services getting introduced, whether it's new AI services, the organizations these days adopt in order to innovate faster or different types of technologies. But the environment constantly grows and changes with multiple, multiple clouds, architectures, and technologies. And we can see that this can make it very challenging to do manual compliance in this ever-changing environment. So with that, we believe that organizations really need an easy way to ensure compliance in the cloud that really meets the requirements of the changing cloud environment. So when we look at um, compliance in the cloud, the three main pillars that organizations need to make sure that they have in place in order to meet those compliance requirements are, first of all, ensure that they're covered across their multi-cloud environment with continuous compliance assessment. So our cloud environment changes all the time and developers can go and launch new resources any minute. So we want to make sure that we're continuously assessing our environment to make sure that we're meeting compliance. And in order to simplify it, we want to have a tool that provides us with those built-in frameworks that align with the standards that us as a compliance organizations and the organization as a whole needs to meet in order to make it a lot more easier for us to assess how do we stand against those compliance frameworks. And in addition, many organizations need to have specific requirements that are more unique to them and their industry. So we also want to have a tool that allows us to customize the frameworks in order to align them with our specific requirements. So let's see how Wiz addresses compliance in the cloud and makes it a lot more simpler for organizations to manage compliance assessment. So a quick overview of Wiz, um, we are a cloud native application protection platform. And essentially we bring in all these different use cases that traditionally, traditionally were in different siloed tools um, into a single unified platform. So when I say use cases and the specific um, security tools, so we bring in, um, for example, CSPM, so looking at cloud resources misconfigurations, how are my resources configured, do I have any misconfigurations? Looking at vulnerability management, where do I have vulnerabilities in my workloads? Um, looking at, for example, network exposures, what is the effective exposure of my resources? Um, understanding identities and permissions in a cloud, 
looking at the workload configuration, um, detecting exposed secrets, where's my sensitive data is, protecting AI pipelines, and also bringing in that compliance aspect all into a single platform. Um, and having all of these different types of um, risk assessment in a single platform allows Wiz to really understand what is critical risk in the cloud. And then we help you map it back to your compliance frameworks and ensure that you meet your security and compliance requirements. And we'll take a look at what that looks like in the next few slides. So when it comes to how we address compliance, um, we offer our customers with a, a comprehensive and continuous compliance assessment across our multi-cloud environment. So how do we do that? We have over 150 built-in compliance frameworks, and those are on the cloud layer as well as the OS layer. And what do I mean by that? Um, with the cloud frameworks, we look at things more around the cloud resources misconfigurations and align with frameworks like um, PCI, FedRAMP, HIPAA, GDPR, um, SOC 2, ISO and so on. So um, we have many, many built-in frameworks that are common in the industry where organizations need to comply against. And we assess the environment against those frameworks to provide organizations with that um, overview of how they stand in terms of compliance posture against those built-in frameworks. On the OS layer, we also um, help you understand if your workloads are compliant. Um, so we look at your OS and applications, and then we have um, built-in frameworks that align with the CIS benchmarks. So for example, the CIS Ubuntu, Linux, or Windows benchmarks. So you can understand how um, your workloads are doing in terms of compliance posture. So with those built-in frameworks, um, so for example, for the cloud framework, for example, a PCI framework, um, is made out of different types of policies that WIS maps back to the standards from the compliance regulation itself. So what does that look like? Um, so first of all, we have the first type of policies is called cloud configuration rules. And those are like the traditional CSPM checks that look at your cloud resources misconfiguration. So things like EC2 um, security groups that allow access to all IPs or EBS uh, volumes that are not encrypted and so on. And we take these policies and then we use them to map them back to the compliance frameworks that you might need to meet. Similarly to the cloud configuration rules, we also have our host configuration rules that look at the OS and applications. And then um, those rules help us map them back to the CIS benchmarks when it comes to OS compliance. And last but not least, we have our controls, which are um, unique to the way that we look at risk, because as I showed you the CNAP diagram, we bring in all these different types of risks into a single platform. And what that allows WIS to do is that it allows us to correlate risk across, um, let's say, CSPM, vulnerabilities, data security, identity management. Um, we, it allows us to correlate, correlate all these risks in order to understand what we call attack paths in the environment. Um, and those are essentially controls that we check against your environment. So for example, um, a control can be a publicly exposed virtual machine that has a vulnerability on it and also has admin permissions and can access sensitive data in your environment. So Wiz correlates all this information to understand those toxic combinations that truly puts your environment at risk. And then for some of the frameworks, we map the controls back to the compliance um, controls as well. So that's kind of the behind the scenes of how we do our compliance assessment. So then in terms of how you actually use it and what are some of the processes the organizations follow in order to make sure that they have um, a solid foundation when it comes to compliance in the cloud. So there are six main steps organizations follow. Um, so the first thing is obviously um, someone from the compliance team or the security team goes into the compliance page on Wiz, which I'll show you, and looks at your overall compliance posture. So I have the compliance frameworks that I care about. For example, PCI, I will go in and see what is my uh, compliance score and how do I stand against that framework. Um, in many cases, I might not be 100% compliant, which is very normal in the cloud. So next, I want to understand where are my weak areas within that compliance framework that I need to work on. So once I identify those weak areas, um, I want to be able to remediate any risks that reduce my score, right? So I look at what are um, the controls that I need to remediate and how do I need to remediate them? Um, next up, if I know that as my organization, I have specific requirements that are not covered by a specific framework, 
I would want to customize the different frameworks and control to meet my unique requirements. And the last two steps um, are that uh, once I have all of this in place, I want to be able to generate compliance reports that I can then share with my auditors or my stakeholders. Um, and I also want to make sure that this applies across my entire organization and all of my clouds to make sure that I don't have any, any blind spots in my compliance posture. So what this process looks like on WIS um, is starting off on the compliance page, organizations go into here to understand how do they comply with the specific frameworks that they care about. So in this example, again, we see the PCI um, DSS compliance framework, and we can see that our compliance posture in this example is 55%. So as someone who um, is from the compliance team and I care about my compliance posture, I will then want to dive deeper into why is my compliance posture 55% and not 100. So next up is I want to drill down into my weak areas. And with WIS, you can take a look at the specific control. So let's say um, there's a specific control from the framework. So for example, um, that checks that network access to and from the cardholder data environment is restricted. Um, so this is a control on the framework level. And then you can dive deeper to see how WIS maps that control back to the policies that I mentioned. So we have those cloud configuration rules. Um, in some cases, it might be those host checks, as well as the WIS um, specific controls that we create. So you can then dive in and see, OK, I see that this specific cloud configuration rule is failing. Um, let me understand why it's failing and what I can do to improve my security posture. So next up, um, I will go in and then um, try to find the remediation steps that WIS provides me for that specific um, risk that is failing. So here, for example, for cloud configuration rule, we can see the remediation steps that WIS suggests us to run. And this is um, a command that I can actually copy paste directly um, and run it in order to remediate that risk. And uh, with that, I can very easily understand, hey, these are my weak areas. These are the rules that are failing. And this is the remediation steps that I need to run in order to ensure that I uh, increase my compliance posture and remove that risk from my environment. Um, so as I mentioned, some organizations obviously might have um, more specific requirements that they need to align with. So in that case, I will go in and I'm able to create a new compliance framework that I can either choose an existing built-in framework to start as the basis of my framework or create a completely new framework um, and align my own controls to that framework. Um, I can even create my own cloud, cloud configuration rules or um, controls by running um, a graph query to choose a specific risk that I care about, build a control, and then map it back to the framework that um, I'm creating, so my custom framework. So next up, as a compliance team, I most likely have to report on my compliance posture. Um, and with WIS, you can do this at the click of a button. So we provide you with reports that you can create, whether it's more granular reports or executive reports. Um, and obviously, the granular ones break it down back to the control and the rules that we're looking at. So you can really um, provide your auditors with all the information they need to know about your compliance posture. Um, and what is going on in the environment. And this is very easy to do, so you don't have to do any manual work. Obviously, you just ask Wiz to create this report for you and you get all the information right there and then. So the next step there is kind of taking um, a step backwards, actually, and instead of looking at a specific, let's say, business unit or a specific application compliance, we want to understand our compliance posture across our entire organization. So with Wiz, you can create something that we call Wiz Projects. So you can separate your environment into whether it's the team that owns it, the specific application, business unit, um, and then you can see the visibility into the compliance posture of each one of these with posture, all in a centralized place, which is called a compliance heat map. So um, you could go into the compliance heat map, see all the compliance frameworks that are enabled in your environment. And then you can see how each one of the teams or um, however you split up your projects maps into those frameworks to understand which teams are more compliant than others um, and quickly get an overview of how the different teams within the organization are doing. And obviously, you can then dive deeper into each one of them on the compliance score page. Now, um, as I mentioned, we have many, many out of the box rules and checks, uh, whether it's over 2,000 cloud configuration rules, 
um, over 10,000 host configurations rules that look at your OS and application, over 130 compliance standards, um, and many, many other checks. Um, so we have our attack path detention uh, detections, which I mentioned are the controls where we bring in different risk factors. And this is available to all of our customers out of the box. Um, and as soon as they connect with the environment, they're able to benefit from these continuous um, compliance checks, as well as um, all the other risk assessment that WIS does. And I will quickly wrap it up with one of our customer use cases. So um, Insure is uh, a UK-based insurance company um, that came to WIS with a few challenges. So um, obviously, because of the nature of their work um, in the financial industry, they operate in a very highly regulated industry that has a requirement for them to meet the specific compliance requirements that are um, required for financial companies in the UK. And obviously, they needed to protect their customer information, um, and that was kind of their job zero. Um, they came to Wiz and they lacked the comprehensive visibility across their multi-cloud environment. And they also ran into an issue where um, they're accelerating innovation in the cloud, accelerating development, but it was hard for their security team to keep up with that innovation in the cloud because obviously the environment constantly changes and grows, but their security team doesn't. So when they came to Wiz, Wiz was able to help them very easily measure um, where they stand against the compliance standards that were relevant to them with our built-in frameworks and reports. Um, and their security team was able to gain consistent visibility across their multi-cloud environment and very quickly understand the risk across all of their clouds on the Wiz security graph, which we use to map all the risks. Um, and not only that, um, they're able to truly prioritize the critical risks and focus on the risks that really matter and have a business impact um, and therefore allow their developers to move faster because they're really able to reduce the critical risk and reduce the noise that um, often they face with traditional tools. And this is a nice quote from their CISO that speaks to um, how they manage compliance with WIZ, but they said that before we had WIZ, it was difficult and manual process to report against compliance frameworks in the cloud. And having a tool like Wiz allowed them to very quickly see how we compare against a compliance framework for each of our different accounts and subscriptions. Um, and with that, I'll wrap it up. Um, if you would like to connect with us, uh, feel free to follow us on LinkedIn or on the website, you can book a demo with us, um, a live demo. Or if you'd like to read more customer stories, um, you can find it as well on our website. Thank you so much.